Hey, so I think it's about time that we chat, huh? I started this, how I used feng shui to, it has now become a series and I'm like, is this a podcast? But I created it because There are so many feng shui wins my clients are having, I'm having, just things that are happening, feng shui results, positive things happening from feng shui, and I can't keep up with the, at the moment, I cannot keep up with doing like the before and afters and the fun reels and the fun videos because I am a one-man band over here. I edit, film, script, work, create, tech guy, customer service guy, um... I am all of it in one hat. So I started this How I Used Feng Shui 2 series to fill you in on what feng shui results actually look like. I've gotten feedback before from people that, that, you know, they've commented on past videos and they're like, thank you so much for sharing like how it actually looks and how it actually unfolds because there's feng shui tips everywhere. Like put your plant here, put nightstands by your bed paint your front door red put a crystal here like mirrors are bad feng shui you know there's just all these feng shui tips and then no one is following through with like and then what happened (laughs) and so you did this and you placed this and you adjusted this and then what happened and I just finally like threw my hands up and was like I want to just share with people all of these cool wins and how feng shui has like totally changed my life, changes my clients' lives. And you know what? It's going to be informal. It's going to be candid like this. This is one of those things you put up in the background and you treat it like a podcast. You can watch it if you want. I'm a fairly animated person and I will be throwing up some images, but it's mostly podcast style where you just sit back and you listen you listen to these really cool stories that I have for you this is like I cannot believe we're in the middle of March because I have yet to do I wanted to do like a feng shui recap of 2024 and all of the cool manifestations that happened for clients and me in 2024 and um show how feng shui like exponentially expedites your successes Even sometimes for me, I'm like, what is like my action? What is my doing? What is the feng shui? It can get a little murky and you can really get your head and overanalyze it. But I know for a fact, my gut says this is a fact, that if I did not have feng shui, I would not be where I'm at today and growing as quickly in life as I am and wouldn't be as aligned in my life as I am. There are just things that have to happen in our lives that don't feel right, that set us back, that cause a slip up, that cause a mistake, because we're meant to learn from that. The law of cause and effect tells us that there's always an, maybe that's not the right law to source, but there's always an equal and opposite reaction. Like we wouldn't know happiness without sadness. We wouldn't know love without hate. We wouldn't know the good without the bad and we wouldn't be able to hold space and grow as a human if we didn't overcome things it's inherent in us that we love humans love progress they love growing they love adapting they love evolving that's like why we're here if we're not growing we're dying somebody famous said that (laughs) and then there's like all and they compare and they compared us to sharks like Sharks can't swim backwards or something. Anyway. (laughs) Unscripted, like I said. And so sometimes I get in my head and I say like, I don't have a million dollars yet. And I don't have like flashy things. I mean, I don't really even want flashy things. And I don't really want... There's a lot of things that are like stereotypically successful that do not... Are not appealing to me at all. Purses, handbags, clothes, like I don't really care. Cars, I definitely don't care. It's experiences and it's making an impact. And you know what really lights me up is your positive comments of like, this changed my life. This helped me for the better. I'm so glad you shared with me this. Like I love helping people and waking up to positive texts and comments and like, you helped me, you helped me get the designer handbag. By feng shui, you helped me get a 15% raise in my business. Like, that's the stuff that I live for. And, if, and you know, then I also, I guess my superficialness is, or not even, but, like, my luxury loves are spa days, massages, acupuncture, all that. 
I love, I do love like luxurious things in terms of experiences. Facials, oh my gosh. But sometimes <laughs> before we go think about how I want to go book a massage, I think like, you know, sometimes when you have this business, you feel like you have to like prove it to people that you're good. And you should, you should never hire, and I should, I mean, I should never, I should show you the results I get for people, show you the results it gets in my life. You should never hire a doctor or hire a therapist or hire a business consultant or hire an anybody who doesn't actually follow through and give the results that you say you're going to give. And so, like I said, I would get really in my head because I was like, I have all these before and afters, but I don't have time to edit them and make them look good and blah, blah, blah. There's a whole pipeline <laughs> of stuff. So why did I go down that road? Oh, because I was talking about, this is, we have veered. I was talking about how I know for a fact feng shui, you know, it's over a long amount of time. And these days people want to see success instantly. Feng shui is not going to get you success instantly. Unfortunately for my business, because I wish feng shui worked overnight, because if it worked overnight, everybody would be like, yes, I want to work with Jeanette, I'm going to hire her. And it would make my life so much easier. But feng shui is where you set, it's like, unfortunately for me, like the longest, and for us, the longest modality almost. You set up your environment with intention, and then you have to take aligned action every single day. You have to show up in your, in a, not in a good mood, but you just have to show up with, even if you're in a bad mood, a positive intention, like it's working out for me or a positive mindset. It's working out for me. I know that because I feng shuied 10, 11 years ago as a, feng, as a landscape architect, didn't love the job, but like bigger than the feng shui is the divine is god who's like yeah but you have to learn these things you have to go through these things you have to accrue these skills before you go to the next thing so even though to me i was like why did i just get a five-year master's and do this and now what and there was a lot it was a period of anxiousness and depression and like oh like i low-key depression i don't want to use that word too serious or like throw that around too easily but i was very upset and in not a good place and that at the time felt like longer than it needed to be but looking back I'm like oh I get it and because I used feng shui I connected super easily to people who helped me take a big leap into sales and because I took that aligned action because I believed in myself I the function my environment supported me in this aligned action it's like a one with both of them together moves you forward faster, right? Just aligned action, but not the right environment. It's like you're still gonna get somewhere. And a really good environment, good energy around you, good luck there, I'm going to meet the right people, but if I don't take the aligned action, I'm not gonna close that deal, I'm not gonna get that job, I'm not gonna marry that person. And then I had to go into a sales job that was just like a stepping stone. So I took the leap and I learned so many things and I excelled so quickly because I was taking aligned action. I had the environmental energy supporting me. I was always meeting the right people at the right time and learning the right thing at the right time. And then I went into, got recruited for a dream role. And then the universe removed me from that dream role before the world really crumbled during a certain period of time and is now rebuilding and that company in particular crumbling and so the universe while well, it felt like it was taking out this like amazing dream job taking it away from me it was like no you're done you've learned everything you need to learn you've accrued everything you need to accrue over here now it's time for you to go become a feng shui consultant so what i mean by feng shui helps get you there faster and has helped get me there faster is I would have stayed in that. I would have stayed in that job probably too long because the money was really good and I really liked it. Um, and so this bigger plan knows better than us sometimes. So on that note, speaking of staying in things longer and things that have manifested along the way, as some of you know from this past one, I manifested this year I'm going to start sprinkling in like things that have happened, how feng shui did it. Um, this year at the be or last, okay, so 2023, <laughs> October 2022, 
I was like, I know that next year, 2023, is really good for my love life. I'm going to be more intentional and serious about it and put that out there. I ended up meeting somebody, as many of you know from another video, that I did not think would end. I, it was great. It really felt just like perfect and wonderful. Um, there's also a few other things, like there was a premonition that I would meet a person that looked like this, had this job, like it was crazy. So I was like, yeah, this is it. But the whole thing with manifesting love and manifesting relationships is like they have their own free will and they have their own timeline and like quantum physics tells us that there's like 400 billion or trillion or however many timelines going on at one time. So maybe there is a timeline where me and him are together. There's another timeline where I broke up with him. But this timeline, you know, he had his own vision, his own life, and we went our separate ways. Again, I would have probably stayed in that too long. I'm somebody who like, I put my mind to it and I make it work. <laughs> so whether that sales job, like the universe takes it away. This, the universe took it away. And it's fine because again, in hindsight, I'm like, ooh, that's really good that that didn't proceed any longer than it needed to. I learned what I needed to learn about myself and now we're on to the next thing. So you have this environmental energy. I was saying that it's unfortunate for all of us that it's like the longest modality because I do think it's the most fun. But when you take aligned action and you've cleared your own energy channel, feng shui happens faster and faster and faster. When I was a landscape architect, I did not, I was not as like attuned. I was obsessed with personal development and self mastery still, but I didn't really understand all the like vibrational stuff on the insides. Um, and so back then things took more like a year to show up or like, it took longer to show up. Now things happen like boom, 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 boom. Like the more you master this stuff as a whole, your energy as a whole, eliminating limiting beliefs and also taking line action, getting over fears. Like once you start doing it in a holistic approach, feng shui, everything, it like happens so much faster. But not sure where I was going with that. I think it's just wrapping up feng shui in those terms. We, t we covered the relationship, so I took a bunch of notes because this is the other, like, kind of, like, depressing, sad thing about life is that if especially people like me and all my clients, like, uh, they're achievers, like, it's on to the next thing. Yes, we're, I'm very present, I'm very good at living in the present, but almost to a fault that I, like, forget all of the good things that happen throughout the year because I'm already on to the next thing and... There is a balance of like celebrating and ruminating in it and then moving on to the next thing, but also not getting complacent, you know? I think that's just part of being human. So I took notes because I was like, what even happened in 2023? I feel like we're already in 2025. Like there's so many papers I'm signing where I'm saying 2025 already. And the fact that we're basically at the end of March, I'm just like, Time is certainly moving faster, but we are in this period nine now where time is moving faster. And I heard somewhere on some science thing that the earth is revolving around the sun. <laughs> is that how that works? <laughs> like it, a little bit quicker than it used to. I think it's only like three seconds or point zero 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 three seconds or something, but I don't know. Anyway, wrote down my notes because I forgot about everything. And would you believe it? I... Okay, pages, well, okay, couple pages of wins that, and it wasn't until the end of my list, and I was, like, scrolling through my phone to, like, jog memories, and I was scrolling through YouTube videos to jog memories. You guys, I have been working for this for two and a half years, and I almost forgot I even accomplished it. I got monetized on YouTube January 18th. Oh my gosh, like I cannot believe this is, it's wild how quickly we forget about our wins. Oh my God, this is why I always say feng shui helps you enjoy the journey on the way to your many destinations because you have these serendipitous moments along the way. You have these fun life events along the way because if life was just about achieving the thing, in a blink of an eye, you're going to forget about it. In a blink of an eye, I think I was happy about I mean, I'm still happy about being monetized on YouTube. Honestly, I still forget because I still like want to add value and I still want you guys to enjoy the videos, get the help. Again, what lights me up the most in life is when I actually hear your results and hear that I've helped somebody. And so 
the YouTube monetization is great, but I'm back to thinking like how much of that, like what value can I bring to people? <laughs> Anyway, I can't believe it took to the bottom of my list because at two and a half years, the first year on YouTube, and this is an example of feng shui and the pace it takes. I, the first year on YouTube, did three videos a week for a year. I did not miss a day. I do not physically know how I did it, I mentally did it. I edited everything. Like, I don't know how I did it. The second year, because I was getting so burnt out, I was like, we're going down to one. We're going down to one video and that was good and that's where I'm staying and I bump it up occasionally, I put in two. You place that intention and you set up your feng shui to support you in creating a YouTube channel, to support you in getting the inspiration to have good ideas to move forward with things like that. And then you take a line action every day. Boom, monetize. Next goal, 10,000 subscribers on YouTube. It will happen because I will t continue to take aligned action and I will continue to support the energy in my environment and use the energy in my environment to back me as I do that. So there's like, actually this corner of my house is very good for being seen on camera, for communication. Um, there's certain like fame and like ability energies that you boost. There's certain communication energies that you boost. So there's always different energies in the house that you boost to help you with this your specific intention. We talk about that every month in the monthly feng shui forecasts. I say, what's your intention for this month? Because you have a big goal for the year. Now let's use the communication energy to get you there, the marketing energy to get you there, the love energy to get you there. So anyway, I monetized on YouTube. It's crazy. <laughs> and that's another example of like, for some people it takes them forever to get monetized and sometimes they never do. For me, it took two and a half years. For some people, it takes one. And you know, there are certain things I definitely got in my way about. There was certain videos I overanalyzed, I should have done sooner, but I was worried about perfectionism and I didn't. And it's kind of like, well, if you had done these things sooner, would you have gotten there faster? But the feng shui was working the whole time. I wanted to manifest hiring a assistant and I actually did find a YouTube, somebody to help me with YouTube and she's fantastic. There's like things with that that I learned from that experience. Like you think you wanna manifest something and then you're like, mm, but is that actually the piece that you needed? And I think a lot of people don't think like that way either or don't think about that factor. You think you wanna manifest something and you think you're ready for that next thing and then you maybe get a taste of it or you get it and you don't know how to hold on to it. So with the YouTube editor, she's great. She's really wonderful. I need to look at like me, what is it that I actually need? Is this actually the missing piece I need where I need help? I think it's a video editor. <laughs> for people who are with the relationship, like in October, 2022, I was like, yeah, I'm ready for one and Honestly, like I am, I could be for the right person, but I'm also 100% okay without it. Like I know the things that relationships bring up in me that sort of, I don't want to say block progress in other areas of my life, but they definitely distract. And so being back to being single, I'm like, mm, yeah, no, this is good for now. There's just so much with the business I want to build and I want to create that it was really nice to have that like fun six months of just, you know, he's a great guy and a good time. But now I'm like, no, no, I'm, I'm enjoying this and I don't think I'm ready to like live with somebody and share balance like a life. <laughs> like, but that's my own stuff and my own, yeah, that's my own stuff. But my point is that there's things that we think we want to manifest, we get a taste of it and you either got to like adapt and learn how to hold on to it or when it gets taken away or it fails, which goes away, ends, you ask yourself like, well, maybe I wasn't ready for that and I'm actually glad it didn't work out or, oh, I've got a taste of it and I realize I'm not ready yet, but this will be really good. I'm glad I know about now. I'm going to work on this and this and this skill and then I'll get it back in a year. So things, if it's, if you're like, why isn't it working out right now? Why isn't it happening right now? I want it right now. Ask yourself, like, just never see it. Just if you, if your mindset is everything's always working out for me, not to me, and everything's working out in the exact right divine timing, 
then you'll see the why it's unfolding like the way it is in that moment. The biggest financial win of 2023 is one that might surprise you and I, I know it was a feng shui win was the teeth. So I, if you watch my old videos, like, oh my gosh, some of my very first YouTube videos are so cringy. I'm about to redo a lot of them because they're good. But I was like doing this in the camera and I was like, hey, and I was like, oh, they're so awkward. <laughs> so weird yeah so we're redoing them because i'm kind of embarrassed if anybody new comes to the channel and doesn't see that they're two years old and they're like who is this freak <laughs> but my biggest oh so anyway in those old videos you'll see like my old teeth and i thought i was gonna have to go through this whole there's a whole video about this so i'm not gonna go into it but i thought i was gonna have to do implants and get all these things done and it was gonna be fifteen thousand dollars but i was like i'm ready to do it I'm ready to commit. It's something I'm not insecure about, but I notice, especially talking to myself on screen all day, every day. So this is the year I want to handle it. And in my astrology and feng shui, there was like all kinds of teeth stuff. So I knew it was the year to tackle it because there was like teeth energy helping me, <laughs> if that makes any sense at all. Instead of $15,000, because I manifested super helpful, honest, dental care workers and I was in the right place at the right time and I was listening to my intuition that process only cost me 1500 no pain no surgery in and out in two hours because what they ended up doing is avoiding the whole implant process and they just built onto my teeth with composite like not ever a how I would have considered like that's something else to think about we can I am certainly somebody who will analyze 10 different ways something's gonna play out happen uh, that's my own, again, stuff that I work through. But the how, like, God is a bigger plan. And what is it, the phrase, like, he laughs at our, we make plans and Jesus laughs at them or something like that. I never would have thought to just put composite on my teeth or that that was even an option. So that was my biggest financial win. It wasn't $15,000 in my pocket, but boy, did that save me time, pain, and money. Some of my clients' biggest wins that I don't have before and afters for are promotions, they receive stock options, they receive surprise raises, surprise bonuses. And one of my clients, she got, she paid off slash got relieved slash a little bit of a combination of positive events, $100,000 in student loans, gone. Like there will be a before and after video of this one day when I get around to editing it. But my like facial reaction, I was even like, is this for real? <laughs> because this is how feng shui is not like, I can't say, put this point here, put this crystal here and you will receive $100,000. Like that's just not how energy works. That's not how God works. We're, we're using the energy to our advantage to make life easier, but we don't know ultimately what the bigger plan is or how it will unfold because I can't control that many factors and neither can the client or you, right? So we have to surrender the how. And I just was like, my logical human brain, because I am a human, even though I'm very tapped in and tuned in and can like really work with energy, my logical brain was like, wait, for real? Are you sure? Did you double check? Like, you're not gonna get a letter in the mail later? I was like, I don't wanna ruin this nice moment. She's trying to give me a compliment, like, Jeanette, you're feng shui, like, I'm so glad we're working together. And I was like, okay, but before we take this credit, like, are you sure? And she's like, yeah, I'm sure it's been time, the time's passed, like, it's amazing. So $100,000 in student loans, gone. She, you know, thought she had a decade left on paying that, amazing. Um, I already talked about wanting to manifest an assistant and how sometimes like we think we want to manifest something and it doesn't work out. There's some things I have to work on there before I'm better at like delegating and um, handing that over. And I think it needs to be like some, yeah, well, whatever. We already talked about it. I think I need a YouTube editor, not an assistant. A video editor, not an assistant. Okay, then um, big work things. Oh, <laughs> another one. This I have to kind of keep low key until next, like probably two more months. And so it'll be on the next how I use feng shui too. But I've been invited onto a podcast that's like essentially my Oprah. <laughs> like they're not my Oprah, but like 
the scale of it and the big deal of it. It's like so cool. And so again, this would never, I would maybe get there in 10 years of having this business and having the eyes on me and all this, but this is just one of those like right place, right time things that have been culminating and brewing and what an amazing opportunity. So I'll share with you after that comes out, but it's a really big interview and it's a really big like honor to be on it. We talked about the relationship. I created, I connected with great new people. Like I have this calendar last year, I did this thing called build your life resume. And so I had this big calendar. He literally calls it a big ass calendar. And Jesse Itzler, it's his program and you, it's 365 days of ones and you put these sticky notes so you can see like how much you accomplished in a year. And I was looking at that and I connected with so many great people. I really do. So last year I knew like relationships were going to be big because I saw it in the astrology and I saw it in the feng shui. And yes, it was romantic relationships, but also I made really, really big business connections with people that are helping me in this network. And then I made a whole new group of friends. I, since... As long as I can remember, since graduating college, I was like, I just want to live, I want to become an adult, and I want to live on a street where where all the neighbors are friends with each other, and we can just walk to each other's houses, and we can, like, have one of those, like, progressive dinner parties, and all your friends are in walking distance like they are in college, but you're not in a dorm room anymore. Like, that is the life. I love just being able to, like, walk up and knock on my room, my, my neighbor's door down the hall. And I always really wanted that. And I actually thought it would be in Dallas and it wasn't. And I never thought I'd live in Cleveland. And I never, because I play so much pickleball, I kind of thought that here all my friends were going to be 55, 60 plus years old. (laughs) And these, you know, the universe, when you feng shui and you set up these intentions, the universe has to then go and like put these people, change their path and change their path and change this scenario and this scenario so that you guys, you guys all end up meeting together. Um, and now, so it took, you know, I've lived here two years now, two and a half. And I now have this like great group of friends who are all a similar age and we can, we can all walk to each other's houses and it's fantastic. So that's really cool. The amount of connections and friendships, romantic things, people I've met, like relationships were a big one in 2023. So that was really good, but business was also really good. I launched Feng Shui Your Money Habits. The Feng Shui box was such a hit around Christmas time. I'm definitely going to do another one. I just have to think about how I want to reiterate it. Um, The beginning of the year is always a whirlwind for me because this is when I give you guys all the personal energy number videos and talk about the new 2024 energy, how to feng shui for it. So like the first, yeah, month and a half of YouTube is always about like astrology and predictions and um, it just flies by. (laughs) So in July, maybe I'll rethink the feng shui box and how, when I'm going to put in it this year. But it was a really cool evolution of this business and a really cool stepping stone and like I had no idea how to figure any of that out or do any of that or curate any of that and you just follow your intuition I had the idea one day I took the action it was a great new branch of my business so that was a really cool one and then the feng shui planner which I didn't the feng shui planner is free so I didn't sell that I didn't make money from that but then I had the idea to do the workshop and as a business you know profits making money like that's important um the feng shui workshop the wood dragon workshop was a result of the feng shui planner and was like one of my most favorite things i've done to date it was a very good turnout and people were so 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 receptive to it and i think it's because i was like i know it's because i was elated i was so excited to do it that way i presented feng shui in a way that I've never presented before and it was such a cool interactive workshop like honestly not to make you feel bad but if you didn't go you missed out like it was fun so that these things are things like you start a business and you think it's just going to be one-on-one consultations how will this business ever grow evolve add any variety to it am I just gonna be doing one-on-ones for the rest of my life and 2023 was really cool um I you know I had feng shui for like inspiration and my bazi also showed 
creativity and so but you have to use that you have to listen to that so the feng shui box the feng shui your money habits program and the workshop and the feng shui planner like four new amazing great things feng shui your money habits is something i'm actually going to pull back on and take off and offer it to one-on-one clients like in private um so again you try things and then you take it off you market something and then you take it off not everything you put out there is going to work not everything you put out there you're going to love that's okay the point is to just keep taking a line action keep doing how you think And then the universe will come in and swoop in with something 10 times better, make it really obvious how you're supposed to go about it. So anyway, but the feng shui planner, a hit, the workshop, a hit, and the feng shui box, a hit. So three out of four, fantastic. Monetize on YouTube, whole group of friends. Uh, And then new kitchen floor, like home wins, you know, that takes time. You guys are like, thank you for being honest about how long it takes to renovate a house and save money to do the next project. Like these... 24 hour flips and trading spaces and all these things are like so unrealistic and on any home makeover they're so unrealistic it takes a lot of time and money and uh yeah so 2022 was the fence in the backyard I still haven't done a video on before and afters of that I'm just gonna throw up some pictures here and <laughs> we'll do a cool before and after later That was 2022. 2023 was the kitchen because this year in the kitchen is a no renovation zone in my house. So using feng shui again, like you use the energy. I am not renovating in a direction in a time where it's a no renovation zone so that I don't cause more problems, lose any money, affect my health. We learn and this is how you make progress faster because if I did do a renovation in a no renovation zone, money setbacks, health setbacks, people setbacks for what you, maybe you find other problems under the floor. Maybe the floor guy messes up and that sets you back. And that's what I mean by feng shui, get you where you want to go faster and things are smoother. Floor seamlessly went so well. It's porcelain floor. So it's like he had to hand cut things and, um, it really is like a craft to like put in that kind of floor it's not just like vinyl tile that you slap in not that I know how to do that it would be a craft for me but the point is like it could have gone wrong in so many different ways I could have ordered the wrong amount the the oh my gosh I can't think of the stuff that goes in the cracks (laughs) not the molding oh my gosh I'm not gonna think about I'm not gonna know Comment below what it is because I know somebody's screaming at this camera saying, this is the cement that goes in between the tiles, but it's not cement. Oh my gosh. Ugh, whatever. That Something could have gone wrong with that. So smooth, so wonderful. Uh, could have been out of a kitchen and had to spend all this money on eating out. He totally worked with me so I could still use my kitchen in the process so I didn't have to like spend a bunch of money eating out couldn't have gone better and that is what a life with feng shui is it's not these sometimes like my one client windfall of money a hundred thousand dollar student loans gone windfall of money for my other clients fifty thousand dollar bonus for no reason raise promotion obviously they put in the work but just you know out of nowhere sometimes it is these like slaps of great true fiscal prosperity and also it's these slow wins that add up. It's these slow next steps. It's these small stepping stones and things that stack, like the feng shui box. When I do this video, how I used feng shui to blank in six years, I'm gonna remember this video and say, remember six years ago, now I'm making $100,000 a year from the feng shui box or whatever, you know, collaborating with small businesses and helping all these small businesses. Like there'll be something that comes from this seed that was planted this year and it will compound and it will become bigger and bigger, but it has to start somewhere. My fun- my YouTube channel in 2021, the intention was planted and I took a line action and it'll become bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger. Maybe one day I'll have a silver play button. Feng Shui is setting up your environment so the wind is at your back so that you get where you want to go faster so you learn the lesson quicker so you meet the right people at the right time 
and then you continue to take aligned action in this balanced, optimized energy. And yeah, life is just more serendipitous. It's so much fun. That is my... Oh, I did want to wrap up with... So those are all the wins that I could think of. I'm sure there's more and I'm, you know, they're out there. <laughs> I did want to wrap up with my like vision for the year. So it's so funny because in January, while everybody's doing their, this is my word of the year, here's my intentions. I'm over here like editing YouTube videos, doing your personal energy number stuff. And I'm like, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I want to talk about this in the future. I'm not a huge January resolutions person because one, I believe in I'm Eileen Lunar New Year, so it's happening in February. <laughs> but part of a feng shui lifestyle is that you are continuously setting intentions and going after them. Setting intentions, going after them. You're continuously manifesting. So every week I have a new resolution. Every month I have a new resolution. Every year I have these new goals, these new things I want to hit. Because you're also achieving them pretty quickly if you're in flow and, you know, in your element. But what I will say, so I don't have like a January resolution, but what I will say is my goal for the year, or my theme of the year, something I want to remember for the year is to have more fun, to implement more fun. I Building a business is really difficult. Being an entrepreneur is very difficult. Doing everything alone is very isolating and it's very lonely. And... It's just you and the numbers. It's just you and the screen. It's just you and the phone. And sometimes you like are putting this, like you're pouring your heart out into a YouTube video or you're pouring your heart out into an Instagram post. And you're like, five people liked it. And I did all of the things. And like it, I did all the algorithm things and I did all the expert things and whatever, one of those people was supposed to see it, but you can get really caught up in the mud and the weeds and you can really be like, why am I not making more money? Why aren't the, you know, cause numbers are calculatable and it's a lot easier to be like, it's a lot easier to get fixated on the controllables of like, I want $500 a day. Why am I not making $500 a day? And you can get really caught on that. And that's like, it's not the bigger picture. Um, I already have a propensity to become a workaholic. Like I already just kind of am because I love what I do. I'm so passionate about learning more and like self mastery and becoming better every day. And that's never gonna change. I actually, like some people could say workaholic is bad. I don't really even, there's just not another word for my like insane amount of passion and drive. And like, I don't care that I work 16 hour days. Like I love it and I don't feel like it's a bad thing. That said, to a certain degree, we have to let go and we have to release to receive, right? If we're holding really, 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 really tight fists, we cannot receive. And so for me, the theme of this year is to have more fun. If something comes up where somebody invites me to something, I'm just saying yes, if it's going to be fun. <laughs> There's a lot of things I still say no to. I'm like, this is not the person for me. I'm not aligned with them. This is going nowhere. <laughs> but if there's like an event or something that will bring me joy, I, no matter how much work I have, I'm doing it. I'm making an extra effort to plan a trip, to plan ahead. I don't like planning ahead because I'm just like, well, I don't know what'll be happening happening in July. You know, maybe I don't wanna go in July, maybe I'll wait. And it's like, I'm planting fun more and I'm implementing fun more. And I started to do that last year and I met so many new people. And But this year it's like, that is the focus. Even with work, even though I'm like passionate and love this job, having more fun with it, not taking it so seriously. I'm here to help people. I'm here to be an example of how great feng shui is. I'm here to help you guys like upgrade, up level, create spaces that just every morning you wake up and you're like, oh, I love my life. I love waking up here. I'm so fueled. Or like after you've had a long day at the office, you come home and you're just like, I love this space. I feel so balanced and I feel so calm. And I love just sinking into this space. It feels so uplifting and I love my life. Like that's what I'm going for. So I don't have a word. I don't have a specific New Year's resolution, but fun is the theme of 2024. A lot of progress, a lot of achieving will happen naturally, but we're having fun along the way. Comment below, what is your New Year's resolution? 
are you doing your New Year's resolutions? We're at the end of March. I think most people usually aren't. <laughs> or share with me what is your word? What's your theme of the year? What's your word of the year? Tell me also, if none of those are something you wanna share, tell me at the bottom, what would you like to see more of from this channel? Like what about feng shui? What's going on? What would you like to see more of? Because now that all the 2024 astrology, energy, predictions and all that are done, I gotta start thinking of content for the whole year. So what do you need to hear? Also, I would really, really, really appreciate it if you shared this channel with somebody, if you liked it, if you subscribe. That's what helps me help more people. I'm so passionate about helping people fall in love with their life again. And I can't share enough. Like I need your help. And I really, really appreciate it when you share it, when you like it, when you comment, when you subscribe, when you tell other people about it. So I really appreciate your interaction and your support. Thank you for being here. You guys are fantastic. You're always so supportive. And I hope you enjoyed this candid conversation of how I used feng shui to do all of those things and help people manifest all of their things. See you in the next one.